Hello and welcome to another episode of Red Door TV. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to move some of that information that is displayed on the five front page to your own personal calendar, whether it be uh, Apple iCal or it's now called Calendars or your Google Calendar. All right, so right now I'm logged in as Kasha. Thanks again, Kasha, for letting us use your account. But if you see on her front page, it tells her or displays what day it is, her courses, and then it shows tomorrow's course schedule also. Below, it also shows her homework, which allows her to go ahead and click off if she wants to. It also allows her to click on here to see her archives, uh, what homework she had in the past. Now, how about if we move some of that content over to our own personal calendar, which can then be synchronized to our iPhone or Android device. How cool would that be, right? So let's go ahead and try that. If you see up here, scroll all the way to the top, a My Apps tab has been uh, selected. So if we click here, what it is basically are links, links to help you with your timetable and to import your calendars. We're going to skip My Bulletin for now, but if you click on My Timetable, Here's a better shot of what periods you have today, and you can scroll through these. Okay, if you scroll back and you see these two imports URLs, one's for Google Calendar, and that could also mean any calendar that allows for subscriptions, and then the other one's for the Google Homework Calendar. Okay, so let's do this first one, import URL for Google Calendar. That is for our course schedule. Okay, so if if you notice, it ends with a dot. ICS and that's important. So let's go ahead and select this and I want you to copy it and you go to either edit, copy or just command C, whatever works for you. Now I want you to go ahead and open up Apple's calendar program and we have that open already. So and here it is right here. If you click on this button, right now I'm using Yosemite but if you're using Mavericks it's very similar. Um, you're going to want to go up here to your menu and go to file and you're going to look for a new calendar subscription. Now if you have an older version of a Mac OS like Snow Leopard, the calendar subscription is going to be somewhere tucked in here. The key is to find any menu description that has the word subscription in it. Okay? And once you click on it, you'll get something like this. Okay? And I know I'm in the right spot because this gray area has .ics. And hmm, that's what I copied. That link ends with ICS2. So I'll go ahead and paste that and I'll press subscribe. Almost, fish, almost finished here. You have some options before it's actually slapped into your calendar. The first one is you can name your calendar or rename it. You can also choose any different color to have the calendar stand out from other calendars, right? For now, we'll leave it as blue. We're going to leave this address alone because it appears to have worked. This part is a little bit important. If you have an iCloud account set up, um, this option will come up. If you don't, it's just going to say on my Mac. Now the difference is if you have the iCloud set up, um, this subscribe calendar will also show up on other iCloud synchronized devices such as an iPad or an iPhone. So if you have that option, always select that. Okay? You do not want to re remove the alerts and attachments. And for auto refresh, I would say on this one every hour. OK. And you can go ahead and press OK. Now, if we wait magically, it should appear waiting, waiting. And there it is. There's Kasha's schedule. Lucky Kasha. She gets to see what her classes are in her own calendar. OK. And if I click on this, there's the calendar right there. I can edit this if I want to by holding Control and then get info. And I'm back at this menu again. I'm back at this display and I can go ahead and change things if I want, rename it. So so have you. Uh, it's also important if you go to your calendar and, and underneath here and go to account preferences, okay, you will also, it's important that you go to your alerts. The alerts are the defaults and it says events. So these you will get an alert every 15 seconds before a class. That might be kind of a headache. Okay, so you might want to have none. You might want to have 10. It's totally up to you. But be aware that if you set alerts so often, they might defeat the purpose and you might ignore them. Okay, just be aware of your alerts. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and go back to 
our My Apps page on Fi. And we're going to do the same thing for the import for Google Calendar homework. Let's go ahead and select that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we'll go back to iCal or Calendars. And we'll go back to File and then New Calendar Subscription. Okay, let's paste this in there. Press Describe. And notice it's a different color, which is good for me because I like that. And again, you're going to follow the same procedure. Deselect these. In this case, auto refresh. I would probably put that every five minutes. The reason being is your homework calendar is going to change a lot more than your course schedule calendar is. And there is a little bit of a lag uh, when your teacher posts it on Fi and when it gets to your uh, Apple calendar. I just want you to be aware of that. Um, the Fi information, the information on Fi is updated right away, but there could be a lag up to an hour if you subscribe to your homework calendar. So just be aware, maybe have your teacher speak to you, maybe do a test. Make sure that the homework is, in fact, appearing at the proper time. Okay? So let's go ahead and press OK. And then now we have right here the homework block here. It pops up and it tells us right here what the homework is. Okay? All right. So we're very happy. Now, what if I'm not a big Apple Calendar user? Okay, what if I want to go ahead and use. Um, Google Calendar and that's easy so I just go ahead and log into my Google account and here's my Google Calendar on every Google Calendar you're gonna have the calendar itself on the left hand side like a mini calendar and then another one says my calendars and another block that says other calendars so you want to click on other calendars and then add by URL go ahead and paste that URL inside and then go ahead and there it is there's the homework assignment as we saw before okay went a little bit too far there but it will tell us okay what the information we probably have to go to more details and there's the description right here so if you see it's probably a little bit easier to see the description in Apple calendars but it's totally up to you of what calendar that you want to use the point of this screencast is to give you the ability to move your course calendar and your homework calendar into your own personal calendar so you do not have to rely on the FI homepage. I hope this is very helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.